Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, continue with our lesson 6b, uh, the uh, point estimate and sampling, sample distribution. So example 7-1 on resistor. An electronic company manufactures resistors that have a mean resistance, so yung mean value natin is 100, and ang standard deviation ay 10 ohms. Okay? The distribution of resistance is normal. So, we have this function, normal. And uh, we have a sample uh, number N, which is 25. So, ang tanong, find the probability. So, the probability that the random sample of N with 25 resistor will have an average resistance of fewer than 90. So, ang hahanapin natin yung x bar na uh, less than or uh, less than 95 ohms. Okay? So, uh, because this is an uh, average resistance for the sample, sample siya, uh, sample. So, ang gagamitin natin, yung pagkuha ng C is Yung formula, x bar minus mu over uh, sigma over uh, square root ng n. Okay? So, if we utilize this one, so, gunahin ko lang lahat. So, ito yung sigma x. This is for the sample. Yung nasa baba. Uh, 10 over square root ng 25, which is 2. And getting yung z value, so, 95 over uh, minus 100 over 2, which is equal to negative 2.5. So, if you get the uh, probability of x bar less than 95, this is just equal to the probability of c less than negative 2.5 from the normal, uh, standard normal distribution. We find the value equal to 0 0.0062. So, kung titignan natin, ito yung diagram niya, ito yung 95. Ito yung portion na ating probability na ayan. So, anong conclusion? So, the conclusion is that uh, this shows that uh, very minimal yung makakakuha tayo ng average value na less than 95 because the standard uh, deviation is one, uh, the mean is 100 and the standard deviation is 10. So, yung value niya, less than 95 ohm, is a rare event to, to happen if we get 25 resistors from the population. Okay? Mina, let's have the second one. Yung central limit theorem for a uniform distribution. Continuous uniform distribution. So, we have this continuous distribution function, which follow f of x equals 1 half, uh, where x is equal to 4, from 4 to 6, inclusive. And otherwise, zero. Find the distribution of the sample mean if we have a random sample n equals 40. So, kailangan natin kunin yung uh, distribution ano natin, parameter. So, pag kinuha nyo yung mean, this is the formula for the continuous random variable, b plus a over t. So, we have 5. And the standard deviation of the uniform distribution is b minus a parenthesis squared over 12. So, Siya. So, pag kinuha natin yung sa sample na uh, variance, this is variance ng sample, uh, sigma squared over n, so 1 third over 40, that's 120. So, pag kinuha mo yung distribution niya, so it follows a normal distribution, n, with mean value of 5, and a distribution or a standard distribution, uh, variance na, 1 over 20. And yung representation niya, ito. So, ito yung ating uh, uh, square dyan. So, uh, variance, ang mean value ay, yung mean value is equal to Malina. So, meaning, we have the normal distribution of your sample. Okay, now, for differences in sample mean, meaning, if you get to compare two data set or two population and you get sample from each population, you will have a set of 
uh, mean and standard deviation or variance for to the two population and two set of statistics for uh, your sample distribution from the two population. The central limit uh, uh, approximation is using this value. So, kung mo yung difference ng dalawang sample mean, i-minus mo yung difference ng dalawang population mean, and para makuha yung standard deviation, this is just the standard deviation of the two mean na gagamitin mo. So, square root ng uh, variance over n1 plus variance squared over, a uh, variance over n2 square root siya. So, approximation siya ng standard Deviations. So, ito yung sa central limit theorem. Yung x bar, ito ay yung sa sample. Ito ay sa population. Ito ay uh, basically sa population. Well, this one ay sa sample. Number of sample. Okay, so let's have this example. The effective life of a comp component used in jet turbines aircraft engine is a random variable with mean 5,000 and a standard deviation of 40 hours and is close to a normal distribution. The engine manufacturer introduced an improvement to the manufacturing process for this component that changed the parameter to 50, 50, and 30. The random sample of size 16 and 25 are selected. What is the probability that the difference in the two sample mean is at least 25 hours. So, we have data. Mu1 is 5,000. Uh, the variance in the standard deviation of 1 is 40. We have mu2 was 50-50. 50-50. Uh, 50, 50, 50, 50. And uh, variance 2, a standard deviation 2 is 30. Then, from this population, we get a sample size of 16 and this one we get a sample size of 25. Ang tinatanong what is the difference of the two sample means so the probability of x1 minus x2 or x2 minus x1 and at least 25 hours. So at least 25 hours yung difference. Okay. So, ito yung hinahanap. Uh, at least pala, may equal sa Okay? So, uh, from this data, burahin ko lang lahat. Nakikita natin, ito yung mu natin, ito yung sigma, ito yung n. So, pag kinuha mo yung difference, you have 25. This is your mu 2 minus mu 1. Mu 1. Mu 2 minus mu 1. Ito naman, pag kinuha mo yung uh, sigma na over square root ng n. While this one is yung sa difference na yung square root na sigma squared over n1 plus sigma squared over n. So, pag kinuha mo yung c, ito yun, yung square root ng 136, so 25, ito yung x my, minus 1 kasi co-convert natin siya dun sa z. So, para ma-convert siya sa C, ito yung i-apply na formula. So, ito, para maging C minus yung 25. So, uh, minus 50 pala. Kasi 52 eh. This is 50. This is 25. Okay? So, makikita. So, makikita nyo, ito, 25. Ito yung mu natin. Ito yun. Ito ay 50. Ito yung, uh, ito yung x bar pala. Ito yung mu. Ito yung square root na n, uh, sigma 1 squared over n1 na sigma 2 squared over n2. Square root ng 126. So, kung yung c-value, this is greater than or equal to negative 2.13. So, that is equal to 0 0.9836. So, ito yung representation niya. So, ang mean value natin ay 25. Ito yung mean ng standard deviation ay uh, square root ng 136. Ito yung pinapahanap. Yung area under the curve where P difference X2 minus X1 ay greater than or equal to 25. Okay.
Okay, so ganun lang. Okay, so king. For uh, something distribution, we always want our statistics to be unbiased. Okay, so ang, or yung estimator natin will become unbiased. So the point estimator, uh, theta hat, capital theta hat, is an unbiased estimator for the parameter theta if the expected value of your theta hat is equal to your theta. If the estimator is unbiased, then this value should be zero. Okay? So, it's called the bias of the estimator. So, pag kinuha mo yung difference, that's the bias of the estimator. And we always want it to be equal to Zero. So the mean of sampling distribution of your theta hat is equal to your theta. Okay, so let's have this uh, example. Sample mean and variance are unbiased. If we have x1 is a random variable with mean mu and a variance of uh, uh, sigma squared, let x1, x2, xn be a random sample of size n. Show that the sample mean x bar is unbiased estimator. So if we have the expected value of x1 bar is equal to the expected value of the average of all your sample data. Okay? So, there is that. Okay. Let's go lang lahat. Okay. Now, from here, uh, dahil ang n ay constant, so lalabas lang siya. And this one, we can distribute it as uh, uh, yung summative expression, yung additive property ng expected value. So, this is just equal to the expected value of each uh, sampling. Okay? Each sampling. So, if this expected value of all sampling uh, is equal to your mu, ayun ang assumption natin na mu siya, then your mu, this is just equal to n. Sasa mo lang yung n. So, n times mu lang siya. So, maka-cancel siya. So, meaning, your mu is the expected value of your all mean value. Susundan. Susundan. So, meaning, yung sample mo is an estimation, or sample mean is just an estimation of your mu. Pag kinuha mo yung sum ng lahat. Okay? Okay, now let's go to the variance. Show that the sample variance S squared is an bias estimator of sigma squared. So if we get the S, uh, expected value of the variance of the sample, this is just equal to, uh, take note, this is n minus 1 for the sample. So ito yung variance natin, estimation. Okay, so x minus x bar squared over n minus 1 expected value. So, lalabas lang to kasi constant. So, ito siya. Then, we have, we can uh, expand this one. So, by expansion, it will become x i squared plus x bar squared minus 2 x i bar. Itong expression na to, if we distribute the summation, so is, this is just equal to the summation ng x i squared. Well, this one, uh, summation ng x bar squared from 1 to n, this is just n times x bar squared. Okay? So, magiging n, ito ay n x bar squared. So, ito namang pangalawa will be uh, 2 x bar. So, lalabas lang siya. Summation ng uh, x i from 1 to n. So, ang summation ng x i is just n x bar. Okay? Kasi constant na to. So, n x bar. So, multiply lang siya. So, 2 n, magiging negative 2 n x bar squared. Ito ay n x bar squared. So, n minus 2 n is just negative x n yung bar. It's not it. So, na-simplify na natin na ganito siya. So, from here, we can have a uh, Summation ng uh, x bar. So, this is just expected value ng x i squared. Summation. Kasi, distribute natin siya. Ito ay magiging uh, n expected value ng x squared. So, ito ay equal lang sa 
mu squared plus sigma squared. While this one, n times mu squared plus uh, theta squared over n, expected value na, na, na mean. Okay, now, so if we get the summation, so this is just n minus mu and sigma squared minus n squared minus sigma squared. So, ito ay magiging n minus 1. So, makakancel lang po. Kaya magiging siya pareho lang ng uh, population variable. So, ang estimated value ng lahat ng uh, variance ng sample, pag sinang yung estimated average, is equal to the uh, population uh, variance. Okay? Now, for minimum variance and bias estimation, MBUE, if we consider all unbiased estimator of data, the one with the smallest variance is called the minimum variance and bias estimator, the MBU. So meaning, if we have x1, x2 to xn is a random sample of size and from a normal from a normal distribution with mean mu and a variance of sigma squared, then the sample x bar is the MBUE or the minimum variance and bias estimator of mu. Okay, so with MBUE.